happened to one recently? So there's some advice for you in half an hour from now. Just after the sport at half eight. First. He's performed alongside Paul McCartney, Sinead O'Connor and Pink Floyd, but comments that he's made that he agrees may be offensive to some have led to a Nottinghamshire Council cancelling a gig that he was booked to play at. As well as being a saxophonist, a very accomplished one, as you can hear here, and a music producer, Israeli-born Gilad Atzman has written several books criticising Israeli foreign policy and Zionism. And last week, he was supposed to be performing at the Bonington Theatre in Arnold. However, after getting a complaint letter signed by 13 people, Gedling Borough Council, which runs the venue, decided to cancel the event, pointing to comments that he had made online. Things like this. It is always Jewish bad behaviour that brings disaster on the Jews. You are the enemy of humanity. This is why you have been expelled from every country. Palestine next. Well, Gedling Borough Council wouldn't come into the programme this morning and wouldn't uh, be involved in explaining the decision further. But uh, Gilad Atzman is uh, here. Hello, Gilad. Morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Quite early for a jazz musician, but I'm still happy <laughs> yeah. to be with you. It's, it's not early for a breakfast presenter. Right? <laughs> no, I can imagine. <laughs> I can tell you that. So you agree that some of the things that you say, some people will find offensive? Certainly, certainly. However, it is um, um, very important for me to mention that uh, um, in my entire body of work, both uh, as a writer and uh, as a public speaker, I never refer to Jews or criticize, let's say, Jews as a, um, ethnicity, as a, as a biology, as people. I always refer to Jewish politics, uh, to Jewish ideology. We have to remember that uh, Israel defines itself as the Jewish state. It is uh, uh, just uh, past the cabinet approved the Jewish national bill uh, that uh, um, suggests that everything, every Israeli politics is driven by uh, Jewish culture, Jewish ideology, and Jewish religion. And I was always uh, um, in the belief that in this country, you can criticize politics and ideology. Apparently, uh, this is probably the case in the rest of the country, but in some parts of Nottingham, this has changed, and it's good to know. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you, I know you, you're saying that you're criticizing politics, but when the politics is the politics of the, the Jewish nation and you are putting the two together, you're, you're actually saying things about an ethnic group. Aren't you? Um, Even not, if it's your uh, own ethnic group. Not, uh, not, uh, not at all, because uh, as you uh, probably uh, realize yourself, the Jewish state proudly defines itself as the Jewish state. Now, if we, we look at the, the, the statement that you yourself uh, uh, quoted of me, and I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm uh, proud of this statement, uh, when it comes to, to, uh, uh, to the uh, last week massacre in Paris, um, supposedly committed by uh, um, uh, these two Muslims, every commentator on this planet agree that such an act taken by Muslims um, puts many Muslims all over the world in, uh, in trouble. We also agree that when American... Do we? Uh, and I'm not sure we do think that, do we? We're talking about a minority here no, who no, are no, extremists. No, 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 I, I agree about... Uh, I'm, I spoke about two Muslims, two Muslims, um, um, uh, involved in this massacre in Paris, Charlie Hebdo, and uh, a lot of Muslims all over Europe are now uh, facing some, uh, some, uh, uh, some serious uh, consequences. Um, I, I don't justify it. This is, this is a fact. We read about it every day in the paper that the rise uh, from Muslim people call. We see David Aronovich calling Muslim to, uh, to go back to Palestine if they don't accept uh, the way we, we live here, and so on and so on. The same applies to America. America shooting drone uh, rockets on Palestinian on Pakistan, uh, Pakistan, uh, villages in Pakistan, and uh, it, this incites anti-American hatred. Yeah. Somehow, somehow, when it comes to Jewish uh, politics, we don't want to apply this rule. This is very peculiar. This is very peculiar. However, 
However, we are talking now about politics. This concert was a musical event. I'm. A... So, would you have been speaking or just playing? No, this was a, this was a musical event, and the and the and the jazz promoter. Uh, wrote to the council, it, it, they told the, the, the council that in the last 10 years I've been, uh, I, 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 I came to the venue at least once a year. My gigs are the most attended uh, gigs uh, in, their, in their program. Not once there was a complaint about me uh, breaching the trust that they... Uh, so why uh, now, do you think? Um, I think I think that uh, some uh, um, things. Uh, it, this was <clears throat> two days after the Charlie Hebdo uh, massacre. And uh, by the way, by the way, as you probably realize, the um, council itself was uniquely <laughs> embarrassed. They did it all in clandestine manner. They didn't publish the cancellation. The promoter moved it uh, to a different venue, and the concert turned into a rally in my support. As you know, today, apparently, you have a protest against the council and its decision. It became very unpopular. Uh, you know, I realized that certain people signed on this letter. Apparently, none of them are from Gedling, but today you have in Gedling, you have in Arnold, you have a, you have a protest. I'm already invited to come to Arnold to speak about it. Uh, because so what, you, that, uh, you believe this is a, an infringement of your right for, to the freedom of speech, do you? Yeah, yeah, because uh, be, be, I, I told them once that the, this issue uh, came along, I said, I told the promoter to pass a message to the council. If I have ever breached the law, yeah, and you but, know, and you, but in it, this, country, this is a council venue, isn't it? So they're not banning you from Gedling. You've, you know, you're welcome to be in Nottinghamshire to, <laughs> no, no, to, to, to say what you think. They're not I, telling you what to think. They're saying, as a council-run venue, we can't allow you to perform here because of the kind of views that you have expressed, and some people find uh, that offensive, and uh, that, that uh, wouldn't be right. It would look like the council was condoning it. Uh, no, this is this is uh, this is uh, unacceptable because we are allowed to be offensive in this country. This is not the issue. We are allowed to be offensive. We are not allowed to, uh, to incite racial hatred. We are, we are dealing with uh, tolerance. We are allowed to, critic, to be critical of politics and ideology. Okay. If, but the minute, you know, we are, we, 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 uh, unless we, we, we um, implement those elementary, elementary, uh, uh, this elementary understanding of freedom of speech, we are moving very rapidly into an Orwellian society. OK, glad. Let's leave it there. I think you've had your say. You've explained what you think. As far as Gedling Borough Council goes, uh, it says a number of local residents approached the council, drawing attention to comments made by Mr Atman in tweets and in other media that they found offensive, some related to recent events in Paris. The council looked into the concerns raised by residents and and shared their view. Whilst recognising and valuing the importance of free speech, the council has a legal responsibility to build and maintain good community relations, including between people of different races and religions. The council considered that allowing Gilad Atzman to perform uh, would uh, at a council venue would be inconsistent with this responsibility. They agree or disagree. Today's news headlines on BBC Radio Nottingham. Just been hearing from that established.